cold start, baby. Sheesh. Starting to get cold, cold. Oh, and then the trailer. Uh, let's hop in here. It's a little free, though. Well, since we're waiting here for the truck to warm up, I like to at least get it to like 100. Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, I was trying to upload the truck talk to the truck talk channel, having some issues. So I don't know if I can still upload to that new channel. So what I'm gonna do is upload to this channel until that gets figured out. So if you guys like the truck content, uh, it might be one video every one or two weeks, nothing too crazy, because I know this is specialized for roofing. Um, so that that's how it's going to be probably for the rest of the year um if you guys want to see anything about trucks um just let me know uh what do you guys want to see about trucks like work trucks personal trucks stuff like that um us personally as a company as myself i have this raptor 2020 raptor my dad has a 2020 f-250 diesel and our foreman has a 2019 f-250 diesel as well uh, my dad's is a 4x4, four four, and the foreman's is an FX4, and then, of course, mine's just a Raptor, so it comes all that stuff. Anyways, today, um, it's not like the other videos where I just talk. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what the trucks gets used for on a daily basis. Today is a very easy day. Both crews are finishing up a job. Um, my dad's doing the appointments today. Um, he's giving me the day off great awesome um so i'm gonna clean my truck go drive around um show you guys what i use my truck for kind of the ins and outs of my truck how i like it and that cool stuff so thanks for tuning in um let's just get right into this video all right check it out guys um we are heading to escondido to go to chemical guys um that's probably one of the best places to get oh damn my hair is like all messed up to get your cleaning products for your vehicle um they got the best soap for your truck they got the best polish wax clay everything um i had the chemical guy soap for the longest time and then i had their like microfiber wash uh mitt or glove whatever you want to call it that shit was so it was perfect for when you washed your truck it got everything it was soft um you had this thing where you can spray on it to clean it you clean it like every like two or not, i think it's like every four to five times you do a wash you clean it um i low-key want to get the uh foam sprayer but i don't wash my truck that often um because i use my truck so much that we have a guy that does it for us um but you know sometimes like these days where i kind of have nothing to do uh my father's doing the appointments i kind of just do like a deep clean of the truck so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna head to chemical guys right now in escondido i'm gonna get the soap um the tire shine i already have the degreaser for the tires and the rims that shit works phenomenal i think i have it in one of my other videos where i broke down how i clean it um but today i'll kind of show you i'll just do like the main parts of me goddamn cleaning my truck and then we'll just go from there. Look at their building, all this stuff right here, which is pretty cool. It's probably bright, you probably can't tell. But yeah, it's more Vista. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go do that, go get the, the all the stuff, st get all the stuff from the chemical guys and then head back home and move all the vehicles so I can park inside the driveway in the middle and get to washing. So yeah, let's get it. All right, check it out guys. In no way am I sponsored by the chemical guys but this is what i got i got um the chemical guys sticky snowball ultra snow foam car wash soap they said it's good for a bucket thumb in um i got their wash pad fire that's what i got last time it does justice and then of course i had to get the hyper what is this hyper coat protective dressing for my tires so make it look nice and shiny. And it smells good, I think. Oh, let's go to turn it on. There it goes. Yeah, it smells good. And then they said this smells like cherry. So we'll get to washing. Little bucket, put some water in here. And the store's in Escondido. 
right there, Detail Garage in, in Esco. I'll put their address on there for you too, guys. So if you guys don't want to stop by there, got some good stuff. So let's get to washing. It says add one to two ounces, but I don't know how much one to two ounces is. So I guess I'm just going to eyeball it. If I get this damn thing off. Good enough for me. Let's see how much that looks like. Yeah, it's probably more than one to two ounces. There we go. I mean, definitely more than one to two ounces, but it is what it is. So we got that, got this. We'll put this right here on the side. Boom, we gotta use that later. Get this. Close the tailgate. Oh, that looks dope. Nice and pink. It's gonna overfill, but. Open this up. Boom. Ooh, look at that foam. That looks dope. You hear the, the sizzle. Get up in there. Get up in those crevices. Get the lights. Make sure the lights look good too. Dump. Boom. This bumper. Lights. Let's grab the light. Get that. I'll get the windshield later. The boy's a little short, so I can't get everything. I've always wanted it since I was or 10. I saw the Gen 1, the first V8, and I fell in love with the truck itself. Um, my dad owns his own company, which is the one I currently work for. So, you know, I'll get it eventually. Um, oh shit. I'm kind of like at that stage already where I run a lot of this stuff, run everything, cruise, guys talk to customers sell and all that cool stuff so you know i i have i have the luxury of doing what i do and getting what i can get I'm not saying if i didn't have this job i wouldn't be able to get this stuff but it definitely helps i would say i make my own hours and everything like that so you know, I put in the work for sure. It took me eight years to get this truck. So, there's no skipping out, I would say. I bought it used, 20, 21,000 miles on it. So, it's not a new truck, but it's definitely not an old truck. I enjoy every bit of it. it costs a lot of money to have, I would say, or operate for gas and it's about like on average every week I would say about 300 two to three hundred dollars for gas a week depending how much I drive and how many appointments I have to go to or if it's a light week or anything like that kind of just depends but two three hundred is a good number um, tires, uh, it's fourteen to eighteen hundred dollars a whack, because um, I drive so much, so I buy all four at once. And as I pop one, then I gotta buy one more extra one, so it's two new and two will be old. 
uh, but this kind of tire does a warranty so you don't gotta worry about that they replace it for free so of course when you buy a new truck and you get tires get the warranty for discount tire it works wonders they honor everything that's why i love discount tire i love discount tire they will always give them my business I'm not saying any other company's worse but discount tire is by far the best fun fact also worked for them for a little bit um I left roofing to go explore, see what else is out there. Um, worked for like two months. And then I quickly found out that it ain't about that business. You get paid minimum wage. I think back then I was going like, whatever minimum wage was, it was like 15 bucks or less. So I wasn't getting paid good at all compared to where I was getting with my pops. Now, granted, it's not as labor intensive. Uh, you're in like AC with these big ass fans and shit. Maybe you don't feel the AC, but yeah. Definitely way easier by tenfold. Oh shit. But if you work there, you know, no discredit. You just, job wasn't for me. So experience that. Did that for a few months, quit, came right back to work with my pops. Hey, it ain't, it ain't all about it. I'm going to work for somebody else. Then they just work for my dad. Even though it's my dad, I still got to work. I didn't get no, it wasn't easy. Just because I'm the owner's son doesn't mean I don't work. I still was a chalan. I had to work my way up and learn everything that they know and learn it better and faster because I have to run crews that do everything. So I have to know everything just like they do, but I just, yeah, I just got my brother's car all wet. But that's just what I have to do. It is what it is. I enjoy it. Make sure to get it all nice and clean. But if Chemical Guys wants to sponsor me, I'm down for it. I'll use all your products to clean my truck. Everything. Everything. Soap, dry towel, microfiber towel, interior, windows, tires, rims, everything. So I got to dry it and then do the rims and stuff. So I'm going to do the window up front and then we'll cut back to when I do the rims. Um, I might hook you up to the chest strap to dry it. But for now, um, we'll just skip that part and we'll come right back to it. All right, here we are. She's all cleaned up. Take a, walk, a spin through. You can see the reflection. Rims, tires done. Eh, it's all right. She's chilling. I gotta put my stickers on the truck right here for my Big Bear in Yosemite. I looked up, there's the logos. Looking nice and pretty. OP4 is nice and pretty. Look at that. Purdy. <laughs> 